we are talking to Mike Tabman, retired FBI agent. We were just getting his take on this affidavit. You hear them mention nails and screws and dipping them in rat poison to cause more casualties. When you read that, what do you think? Well, unfortunately, I know that for many years now, the ability to build bombs is right there on the Internet. So when, especially when you're active on these uh, Internet sites that spew out this kind of hatred and encourage that activity, it's very easy to find that kind of information. Very troubling and very disturbing, but I know it's been out there for a long time. You hear about this, and it was a targeting an event right here in Kansas City. How close do you think it actually came to fruition? I don't think this came very close to fruition. Uh, the reason Kansas City was brought into it is because the informant himself mentioned he's here in Kansas City, which is why the subject said that. But he did that most likely at the direction of the FBI, who was in control, total control of this operation. And they do it in such a way to keep the subject engaged so he doesn't go elsewhere looking for someone else that we may not know about. And from everything I read, it appeared law enforcement did a very good job of keeping this under their control. An overall reaction to everything that we've learned this evening? Troubling that we have people out there willing to do this. Good news is law enforcement is really doing the job, and they're out there proactively stopping these things before they happen.